surged into moderate or even major flood stage around the northeast this morning. A powerhouse coastal storm dumping four to six inches of rain across widespread areas of the region on Monday. Of course, that, in addition to the rapidly melting snow, has aggravated the flood situation this morning. Let's talk to uh, my good buddy Russ Morley, who's a meteorologist in the National Weather Forecasting uh, Area here in uh, Rangeley, Maine. Is that the name of your company, Russ? You know, I never even asked you that. I went to school with this guy, for goodness sake. <laughs> either, either way, R Russ, you're, you're trapped in your house this morning in Rangeley. Uh, well, not trapped in the house, but certainly trapped in the area. We can get out and, and into the neighboring uh, town of Rangeley, but uh, yeah, you can't get into or out of Rangeley right now because uh, roads are washed out. 16 coming in from uh, New Hampshire, from Errol, New Hampshire, through Wilson's Mills here in Maine. Uh, a lot of flood damage over there. Uh, if you're going over 16 over towards Sugarloaf, Carabasset Valley, a lot of road damage over in the Carabasset Valley area from the Carabasset River, which clearly went over its banks. And south of here, the main the main route into and out of the Rangeley Lakes is Route 4. Yeah, Route 4 is... Uh, is, is washed out in many areas and hearing reports of a lot of bridges just gone. Uh, as you pointed out, Jim, we did get four to six inches of rain up here. The snowpack in the mountains around here uh, as early as just yesterday morning was uh, in excess of two feet of, above 2,500 feet and in some cases over three feet of snow. Uh, that incredible amount of rain with, uh, with the snow melt uh, just pushed those rivers. And I'm hearing the Swiss River broke an all-time record set back in 1959, I believe. And I'm sure we're going to be uh, seeing similar records set. Uh, the Sandy River, which runs out of the Rangeley Lakes area down towards uh, Farmington and Mercer, is uh, way over its banks. And uh, just a lot of devastation from the, just the rapid, rapid uh, snow melt and the uh, very heavy rains we received up here yesterday. Yeah, so Russ, let's talk about that. I mean, leading up to this, this has been a banner year for early season skiing in New England. You said you had about two to three feet of snow in the mountains what does that dwindle down to now after the snow melt and the rain yesterday it's, it's crazy it's uh, you know yesterday morning there was still snow on the ground here outside my window i'm at 2,000 feet here uh, just outside of downtown rangeley and uh, all the snow is gone we still have snow banks and piles all but it's it just unbelievable yeah I, I haven't been up to the mountain yet saddlebacks uh, just up the road from me here uh, and uh, I, when I was skiing last week, I went into the woods and I was going up to my, you know, mid thigh level with the snowpack. So there was two to three feet above 2,500 feet, and I'm assuming most of that's gone. I haven't been up to the mountain this morning, but it was just unbelievable. And with dew points in the 40s and 50s yesterday, the snow melt was just rapid and very, very impressive. And, you know, again, topped off with four plus inches of rain. I had just under five inches of rain here in my house, so it was just incredible. So, Russ, I was talking a little bit about the Winooski River at Essex Junction cresting again over 20 feet for the second time this year, which is just nuts yeah. because that means they're going to have to redo Route 2 again. Did mm -hmm. you, in Maine, suffer as, as bad a damage there uh, in the, with the July storm as, as Vermont did? I don't think as bad. There were some roads that got washed out. Uh, Route 17, especially over just south of Haida Land, down towards Byron, uh, there was some pretty severe damage over there. That was actually the early August cloud burst we had up here. Again, it was a similar situation, about five inches of rain, but without the snow melt. So you just figure in the liquid equivalent of that snow on top of the five inches of rain. It's just unbelievable how much water went into the watersheds around here in the last 24 to 36 hours. Just an unbelievable event. Either way, Russ, uh, this has been an incredibly wet year, and um, hopefully things change and we get back to more snow in 2024. Meteorologist Russ Murley, uh, thanks, buddy. Always appreciate and uh, always good seeing you. Talking about the flooding situation and the uh, disaster.